Hello viewers, welcome to the Inventor's Thought. In this video, we will investigate use case of augmented reality. It's a software patent, but according to patent law, a software does not qualify for patent. So how does it got patented? In software community, this debate is ongoing for so long that a software is a patent subject or a copyright. But the utility of software patent is earning a lot. The empire of consumer business is built on this. Especially augmented reality is the best technology domain where online consumer goods being sold remotely. User can virtually do try-ons at their places. Coming to other augmented reality use case is measuring object height, width and shape. It can help finding the size of feet for ordering appropriate shoes online, items dimension to find appropriate box, and furniture dimension to place it in the living room. There are lots of use cases. Help yourself in finding those use cases from consumer perspective. Please comment if you find something new use case. Coming to the existing invention, which is a software patent backed up with the inventive step. It intends to find height of an object using mobile phone application. When the patent is a software one, its usability covers all types of digital devices. So merely changing the digital device will not result in another patent. But there is a hack. If the device is completely new and by using its hardware configuration, a completely new method can be derived, such as foldable device. So think to find height from a foldable device configuration. Let's start with the invention summary followed by the inventive step. Invention is to find height of an object or a person given in the example. For finding the height there are set of augmentation done in real time. First augmentation is instruction for positioning the object at predefined distance from the reference plane. And secondly displaying the height. There could be multiple inventive steps in one patent itself. Let's try to understand how the height of the person is determined. There are sequence of steps performed. To start with, instruct the user to place the mobile computing device on the horizontal reference surface. Generate and display a foot position guide on a 2D display screen. Instruct user to stand so that the user's feet coincide with the foot position guide. Detect the user's head position. Obtain the maximum height of the camera view plane. Obtain the distance between the origin the foot position guide and the user's head. Measure the distance between the foot position guide and the head. Once the person is at the predefined distance with respect to reference marker, pixel height of the user's image being computed. And the actual height is found with relative computation of mobile angle with respect to predefined distance. Overall, it involves relative measure of pixel height, focal length and predefined distance. It's time for invention. A foldable configuration to determine pixel height along with movement can provide a new inventive steps. A reactive reference marker based on hand movement can give us height. Movement of the hand will produce different arc for different length of the hand or height. So can you come up with your own invention to find height of a person? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.